There it is, in all its glory, I got this thing for free off of Facebook. Somebody was giving it away, and uh, I picked it up. Alright, so I already have the back off of this thing, and uh, overall it's in pretty decent shape as far as the cabinet goes. There's a little bit of mess up here, and uh, like you can see a little bit of light through there, but when the back is on, you can't really see that light, and the glass is in good shape. So this thing is a slot machine-y type game for amusement only and uh, has these lighted uh, with labels little square hap type push buttons and uh, those are pretty interesting to me. The coin acceptor and the bill acceptor are pretty interesting to me. Um, gotta decide what I'm gonna do with this thing. So let me take you around back and we'll, we'll get a better look at what's back there. So, taking a look at the business end, uh, I'm going to keep my pointer away, especially because it's metal. But uh, this is kind of where it all starts going wrong. I found this, which should be somewhere back here. And you can see that there has been some pixies that have escaped there. And you can see where, that they jumped over to here. Um, so there's definitely been some kind of short there. And this has been repaired some way, shape, or form. Um... You know, there's a lot of high voltage in there. I could do some diagnostics. I don't really care because if I was going to do it, I would um, probably turn it into some form of main machine or some other kind of arcade machine rather than trying to get this running. Now, I do think the board works, so I'm, I'm really torn as to what to do with this thing. Uh, so let me, let me continue the tour and then we can kind of go from there. By the way, this is a selfie stick that I took apart that I recorded a video for and haven't released like six months ago. Um, you'll recognize it one day. But uh, this is what's generically referred to at least as a JAMA board, and I believe it is the JAMA form factor. And this is very 80s uh, with all the chips and ROMs and things like that just setting up there. Look at all those dip switches and, and all that kind of fun stuff. Now what I do think is interesting is this little mount right here. This would be very cool for a test bench. You can see that that slides down and allows you to put different size boards in the cabinet. And I think that's kind of neat for mounting a motherboard. Um, rotating our way around you can see up here that we have all of the buttons and the fact that there's more than two wires on there tells me that's lighted and those are very old switches those micro switches are way bigger than a standard micro switch um so that's cool they're not quite leaf switches though there are some older ones that actually had leafs on the end of them so they're not the oldest but they're not the newest and then we've got the back of the bill acceptor which that connector looks like it's in pretty good shape and uh, I wouldn't even be so I mean it's got to be newer than the rest of the cabinet and same for the coin mech so I think there's some interesting possibilities there just for maker purposes we've got a power switch here and when this thing is plugged in and activated that monitor buzzes like crazy and doesn't actually turn on um, so let me pan you down a little bit and we'll look at the final interesting things here so we have a few interesting things here we have the power supply the dc power supply and this weird uh power tap this is what the actual power cord comes in on and then this transformer interesting the transformer is feeding the monitor the uh this is feeding the motherboard best i can tell um if nothing else those are kind of worth something to me and then we have this little doohickey here which is all the pots to control I'm guessing brightness and contrast and things like that on the monitor so back here in the blurry zone we have the uh, we have a hat button here that's just connected with speaker cable I'm guessing something like this would be for like free play like if you open up the machine you need to test it you can hit that button to play there's two more buttons over here which I don't really know they're just the actual uh, Micro switches have no idea what they would be for. I'm guessing something like programming the board. So here comes my dilemma. What to do with this thing? Um, the easiest thing to do would be to make it some kind of Raspberry Pi or old PC slot machine thing. It's got the right square aspect ratio, has the right buttons on there. Um, I've already built probably 10 or 12 MAME uh, multi-arcade cabinets. 
So that's not super interesting to me. And, and this particular design, you've got such a short shelf here that you could do, you know, maybe one joystick and three or four or five buttons comfortably, but it would be pretty difficult to make a two player thing in this area. You'd have to extend out this little shelf and come back down, which would be kind of cool because you could hide these mechs. Um, but I could strip it, which I'm kind of leaning toward because I like these buttons, I like these mechanisms, I want that power supply and some other things like that. And I could keep it fairly intact for someone who would be interested in refurbishing it. The machine already needs to be refurbished if somebody wants it. Um, I would pass it down the line again for free um, for that. I don't know. What do you guys think I should do with it? What would you do if you scored this free cabinet? Um, I do have to take in, into concern my space limitations. I've got a great shop, but my floor space and wall space are pretty much full. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching my find. Have a great day.